Hello guys, I'm going to be reviewing a table tennis game that I played recently at a two-star tournament. For context, this was the fourth game that I played in the tournament out of the five, and in this tournament so far, i would lost all my games. So I'm going to be looking at what my strengths are, and what my weaknesses are, what I need to try and improve in my game and in training. My forehand is definitely my stronger shot at the moment. You'll see later that I make a few more mistakes on my backhand and in general the forehand is a lot easier to finish the points with because you can get more rotation, you can get more racket speed from the forehand. And so far I'm happy with how I'm playing even though I've made a few mistakes because I am going for the attacking balls trying to be aggressive and not passive which I, quite, I find quite often happens when I play especially in high stake matches like tournaments because I don't want to make mistakes but ultimately for long term development it's better to be the aggressor be the aggressor and play strategically by attacking long serves for example and and just using the right technique. And you can see on my on my backhand I'm not nearly as um, aggressive as on my forehand. I'm sort of just punch punching them back but there's a very high arc on the ball so I think I should just focus, and you can see I just use my shoulder on my backhand. I need to try to focus on using the wrist more. You can see see on my serves they're all mostly backspin, sometimes long, sometimes short, and I do put a few a few float serves in there too. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at my opponent and see what he's doing. Looks like he's serving. A few backspin serves. That one was float to my forehand. And I popped it up, which gave him a nice follow up. Yeah, see I'm just my arm is just rigid on the on the backhand. I'm just using my shoulder. There's no I don't remember it being completely tensed, but I'm just not letting, I'm just not unloading the wrist or the forearm on the backhand. And that's the first game to him. I'm going to fast forward it to the next game. This is best of five. Okay. I did not move much, I looked at my footwork there, I was sort of leaning with the backhand and I could have been on my toes a lot easier. My, the bat angle for my forehand there was slight, slightly too open I think. I can clo close it and try and get more racket speed on it, more power from the wrist and the forearm and just the rotation in general. That attack went well for me, but I don't think the technique was quite right. I punched through it. Mm, I can't seem to lift any forehands, and yeah, I'm making the, the motion that I'm just using my shoulder. I'm conscious of what I'm doing wrong. Most of my points I'm getting are from these forehand finishes over the ball. That was nice for me. Let's see if I can keep this momentum up. I think I should probably try to... Uh, I wasn't loose enough and didn't quite move around the ball. What didn't quite have enough distance on my left side for that forehand. I think I should re really have tried to 
do do some different surfs here. I do have a, a normal pendulum uh, serve that I do. I can do fast, fast pendulums the backhand, which I was did, don't seem to be doing this game. But I do have a reverse pendulum, which wasn't very consistent on the day. I was trying to trying to hit the reverse pendulum as I was warming up, and only about half of them were going on. So I thought, okay, I will just won't serve any of them this today in this tournament. There we go. Nice long backspin serve from me. He chucks it out, and he flick he flicks that serve quite well. My backspin serves don't actually have that much on them. Not as much as I would like, so they're quite easy to flick. Hmm. Too much arm on that lift, I think. You can keep the, sh keep the shots shorter and just rely more on the rotation. That shot there, I think the, the bat angle was too open for the shot that it was. That sort of open bat angle would have been fine against backspin, but it was topspin, so I can lower the bat angle. That's the second game to him. I'll fast forward it again. Shame because I'm I hit a few nice shots there. It's just the inconsistency that's getting the better of me, really. Let's have a look at his third game. Hmm. I think it's you can really tell on the backhand what's going wrong. It's because the um, the bat isn't. I mean, the bat is moving from my shoulder, but the like where that where the bat is pointing doesn't change. It's always as if I'm punching the ball, and then I just go through it with my shoulder. I need to not have my wrist in a neutral position. Move my wrist all the way down, as if the bat is pointing the floor. Well, not actually to the floor, but more back towards my body or my stomach and then release the wrist forward and the, for and the forearm forward as opposed to just having it in this punching position, this blocking position using my shoulder and that will give me a lot more racket speed I think that works that time just because I got the timing right and I hit my used my shoulder well you can see after I hit my backhands I am um, do the correct motion I should be doing, which is like a frisbee shot almost, unloading the the speed from my wrist. But that's not actually how the shot goes when I look back and and review the footage. I've noticed I haven't been doing much short play. I suppose he's serving long quite a bit, but. Perhaps I could have tried to touch a few more balls or push a few of these topspin ones with like he heavy pushes, not just passing them back. But I think it's, I didn't get much opportunity because it's mostly long serves. I correct that backhand afterwards. I know that I went from the, the back of the ball rather than over the top of it. You see, I'm being very, very passive there on the backhand, except on the last shot, which was the winner where I punched it a little bit forward, but no quality top spin. Still not using the wrist. Okay, there's a nice bit of short play. Uh, I just over egg it on that last shot, too much arm to try and keep it compact. getting a bit stressed out. This is best of five, so if he wins this game, that's the that's the match over. 
and I feel like I have the skills to beat this player when my shots go on. There we go, the back backhand going into the net again. Since I played this game, these are the things I've been focusing on, trying to just use my wrist and forearm in the backhand, moving my legs especially. Um, and I do look like I'm, I'm rotating well here on my fore forehand, but um, I think that's just because of my serves. I serve it and then it pops up and I can go in for a sort of smashy topspin. I get lucky there on the last shot there. That's the lo longest rally we had there, I think. I wasn't particularly paying attention to my footwork, but I think I did okay to move around the table there. One other option I could have used was to step around on that fast serve to the backhand if I could see from his from his serve what where it's going to go, what kind of serve it's going to be. If I see that it's the same you know, hand placement and what's the word? Um, the warm up I guess, not warm up but the correct motion before the serve, if I saw that I and saw that it's going to go to my backhand line, I can step around and play a forehand instead, but I didn't do that. I'm I'm happy with with the attacking mindset that I've got at the moment. I am missing quite a few shots, but even after I miss I'm staying bouncy, looking trying to look for the, the right openings. Trying to look for the shots to hit. I think that's the end there. Yeah. So, quite a close game, even though he won 3 0. As I said, I'm happy with the mindset I had in terms of attacking. Um, it's just frustrating that I couldn't really get any of the close score lines in terms of the games past the finish line and get any games on the scoreboard because it would quite often be, I know you guys couldn't see the score, but it would be something like 8-all, 9-all, maybe he would be two points up or I would be two points up and then I'd sort of just bustle it towards the end of the set. Um, so I do need to work on my mental focus and, and not getting too stressed out towards the end of the game but overall my forehand I'm very happy with at the moment it's clearly, clearly my backhand side is what needs work and perhaps varying up the serves a little bit and Equally, varying the receive slightly more, a few more touches or short play. But overall, a, a decent game. Just a shame I couldn't get, um, couldn't convert it into a win. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've gained something from having a look at this analysis. And I will see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.